Hello students, welcome in my YouTube channel Sivo Educations. Now in previous lecture we have studied about osmotic pressure and about osmosis. Now in this lecture we will derive equation for osmotic pressures. So we have to study about different law of uh, osmotic pressures. Similarly we have to derive an equations pi equal to W R T upon M V. So now let's start. Now there are two different scientists, one was Wontoff and second was Pfeiffer. They were informed that solute in a dilute solution just behave like a gas. Now what is the meaning of this sentence? That solute in dilute solution behave like a gas. Suppose we have a gas and we have put it in a container of 500 ml, then also it occupy entire space of container. Suppose we have 50 gram of gas and we are putting in a 5 liter container then also occupy entire space of container and same as 50 gram gas we have put in a 50 liter container then also occupy entire space of container same thing in a dilute solutions suppose we have taken a minute solute then also it occupy entire volume of solutions it will be present equally in entire part of solutions so we can say that solute in dilute solution just behave like a gas so whatever laws of gas we can apply for a dilute solutions it means uh, jo dilute solutions ke liye hum gas ke sabhi law apply kar sakte hain just like a boyle's law charles law and galois law so they have given a different law now first law is boyle want of law in boyle want of law they were informed that the osmotic pressure at a constant temperature, first term important is constant temperatures. So we kept temperature constant. At constant temperature, osmotic pressure of the solutions is directly proportional to its molar concentrations. And molar concentration we can give by using a C. So we have to write this at constant temperature, osmotic pressure. At constant temperature, osmotic pressure of solution is directly proportional to molar concentration of solutions. So now, this thing we can represent in this way. For osmotic pressure of the solutions, it will be pi. And molar concentration, suppose I have taken a C. Then pi is directly proportional to C. Now, suppose this proportionality sign I will remove. Then I have to put this pi equal to K into C. Now C is a molar concentration and this molar concentration we can give in this way that mole per liter. So molar concentration means N by V. N by V is nothing but a mole per liter. So now we have to put in this equation in a place of C I have to put a N upon V. So when I will put this N upon V I will get equation pi equal to K into N upon V. Now suppose I have taken mole of gas n equal to 1. So we have taken that mole of solute in a solution. Mole of solute in solution suppose it is a 1. Then in this equation in a place of n I can put a 1. When I will put in a place of n 1 then I will get this pi equal to k into 1 upon v. Or ultimately I will get this equation pi v equal to k. So it is just like a Boyle's law pv equal to constant here we are getting want of equation pi v equal to constant now second law this we can uh, this law is known as a galushek want of law in galushek want of law he has informed that at a constant concentration suppose we have taken a concentration constant so at constant concentration osmotic pressure of the solutions we can say that osmotic pressure of the solution is directly proportional to osmotic pressure of the solution is directly proportional to absolute temperature. So now we can say that here according to statement of Galushek want of law, we have kept temperature constant at constant sorry uh, according to Galushek want of law we have kept concentration constant so at constant concentrations 
osmotic pressure of the solution is directly proportional to absolute temperatures. So according to this we can give that pi is directly proportional to T. Now pi is directly proportional to T so we can give this equation pi equal to KT. Now this proportionality sign is removed by me. So now this equation I can simplify that pi upon T equal to I have obtained a constant K. So pi upon T equal to constant so it is just like a gallus shape law. This I have given as equation number 1. This I have given as equation number uh, 1 and this I have given equation number 2. Now similarly third law is given as a Avogadro want of law. Now in Avogadro want of law he has informed that at a constant temperature equal volume of different solutions having a same osmotic pressure then it also contains same number of molecules. So very simply we can say that if the solution having a constant temperature at a constant temperatures different solutions different solution have same osmotic pressures having the same osmotic pressure so we have taken a different solutions this different solution at constant temperature having a equal volume and same osmotic pressure then they contain same number of molecules so now statement of Avogadro law at a constant temperature different solutions having a same osmotic pressure and equal volume then equal volume then they having a same molecule in it so we can get this law that osmotic pressure same then number of molecule will also same if number of molecules same then we can give this equation pi equal to k into n so we have obtained this equation number 3 so now by using this equation 1 2 and 3 we can derive this further so now by using a boil want of flow we will get this equation that osmotic pressure of the solution is directly proportional to its molar concentration and molar concentration is 1 then pi is proportional to 1 upon V this was equation number 1 according to Galusche quant of law, we have derived that pi is directly proportional to its absolute temperature. So it was our equation number 2. And we have observed that according to Avogadro law, that different volume having as equal vol different solution having an equal volume of different solution at constant temperature, same osmotic pressure, then same number of molecule in it. So we can say that pi proportional to n. So from this equation number 1, 2 and 3, we can write that osmotic pressure of the solution is directly proportional to N and T and inversely proportional to V. Now here, suppose I will remove this proportionality sign, then I will have to put a guess constant or we have to put a constant. So I have put a R as a constant. So I will get this equation pi equal to nRT upon V. Now in this equations n equal to number of mole of gas n equal to number of mole of gas and this number of mole of gas we can give this that weight in gram weight in gram and divided by molecular weight of a compound. So now we put this value in this equation that so we get that pi equal to WRT upon MV. So here we have obtained this equation pi equal to WRT upon MV where W equal to it is a weight in gram of solute weight in gram of solute. Now here R is a gas constant we have studied that uh, solute in solution just like we have like a gas. So students R is a nothing but a gas constant and T equal to it is nothing but a absolute temperature T is nothing but absolute temperatures now M, M equal to molar mass so we can say that it is a molar mass of a solute and V equal to volume of solutions but this volume of solution we have to take in liter so by using this equation pi equal to wrt upon mv here by using this equation we can 
find out osmotic pressure of unknown solutions or if we are knowing osmotic pressure of unknown solution then molecular weight also we can determine so, now usefulness of these equations suppose uh, we have a different type of a uh, polymer solutions or a protein solutions then by using osmotic pressure measurement we can find molecular weight of unknown compound suppose a definite mass containing uh, solute unknown solute is dissolved in a solutions and we have a prepared it solution so weight in gram of substance we are knowing then what is the volume of solution this also we are knowing then at a constant temperatures we have measured it osmotic pressures so if we know the weight in gram of substance then osmotic pressures volume of solution then unknown solute molecular weight of unknown solute can be find out by using this method so usefulness of this method is molecular weight of unknown compound or we can say that unknown protein or polymer molecule can be find out by using this method so now once again the usefulness of this equations molecular weight of unknown protein molecules or polymer molecules can be find out by using this method it is observed that uh, when we are using osmotic pressure measurement then the change occur in a osmotic pressure by using this equation this change occur in osmotic pressure pi will be in the power of 10 raised to minus 3 while when we are using a molar elevation method or a uh, depression in freezing method then the change occur whatever in a property it will be in a power of 10 raised to minus 5 so it will be extremely small so it is not possible to measure similarly it is observed that protein molecule are generally unstable at a high temperature so molar elevation method we can't use for measurement of molecular weight so if we want to find out molecular weight of biomolecules or macromolecules or protein type of molecule then generally by use of osmotic pressure measurement method will be done so by using this method molecular weight of unknown molecule is possible to find out now we will study one numerical based on it now example based on this method statement is given in this one at 300 kelvin temperature 1.5 gram unknown substance is dissolved in a solvent and volume of solution is made 1.5 liter osmotic pressure of the solution is measured it is 0.2 bar we have to calculate what is the molar mass of unknown substance so now in this method we want to find molar mass of unknown substance so just we have to make a list of data suppose weight in gram of substance then weight in gram of unknown substance is 1.5 gram then osmotic pressure of the solution it is for us 0.2 bar then after uh, volume of the solution it is 1.5 liter and the value of gas constant r generally for this we are taking value of gas constant r 8.314 into 10 raised to minus 2 so now all this thing is available temperature of the solution is given as 300 kelvin so now we have to put all this value in this equations so now let's we put the value so r equal to 8.314 into 10 raised to minus 2 multiply weight in gram of substance is 1.5 and temperature 300 kelvin divided by osmotic pressure is 0.2 and volume of solution is 1.5 liter so now by putting all this value you just have to simplify now i hope you have got this answer molecular weight of unknown substance you will get 124.71 gram per mole so now molecular weight of unknown substance is 124.71 gram per mole so by using this osmotic pressure measurement we are able to find molecular weight of unknown molecule compounds or unknown molecules dear friend don't forget to share and subscribe my channel sivam educations आप मुझे सब्सक्राइब कीजिए मेरे वीडियो को लाइक करें और शेयर करें यदि आपको आ, कोई क्वेश्चंस है प्रॉब्लम है या डाउट है तो आप कमेंट बॉक्स में जाकर 
मेरे लिए क्वेश्चंस मुख्य सकते हैं आप 